Okay, so this is the next day or a few days later, if you like, and we're going to carry on with a quilt project that we have saved. So I have opened up the Qmatic system. The machine is on and ready to go. So it's asking me to set the safe area, which I do in the normal way. So I'm just going to go and get the sew head to do the top left corner. Just gently move it over and up. Click set on the sew head. Coming down gently and along horizontally. On the screen, you can see the safe area expanding. I'm going to go off the quilt as far as I can to set the bottom right corner. Now, the next thing that I need to do is go to File, Open Project, and look for my project in my drop down list, and it's called Q Coat, Quilted Coat. Open. Here it is. And you can see all the pattern that's been done before is in grey. The next piece, which is to be done, is all trimmed and ready, and it's in blue. But of course, we'll have to remind the machine where it is. So I'm going to take it back and position it onto the obvious reference point that I've picked. Between our patterns. So I've been going for a spot that's up here. My laser pointer on. There's the spot there. So I've positioned the machine. Now I'm going to come along and click uh, realign safe area. I'm going to choose the snap to point option. And I'm going to drop a point on the screen that corresponds to where the sew head is on the quilt. And it should be about there. I'm going to go into view, actual size, just to check that that's accurate. So I'm scrolling along. It's not quite where it should be. So I take the mouse and I click the exact point where the sew head is parked, which is there. Go back to full view. Now I'm going to click the green tick and the whole safe area box should, and it has encompassed the two rows that I want to do. So I'm very happy with that. So now I can press play or start and it will do the next section of my pattern.